I'm going to show you how to test a MOSFET to tell if he, uh, if it's bad. So on the right, I've got a bad one. On the left, this is a good one. So I'm going to show you testing both in both directions. And you'll see uh, what to expect on the meter. So with your positive lead and your source, and your negative lead, the drain right there indicates that it's bad and if you test the gate which is the next pin over it also shows that it's bad uh, you can also switch your leads around also see it's bad you can also see it's bad there too. Now, the reason I do it both ways is because sometimes you can test this and it'll give you a false reading. And so you can pull that up and it might show like 0.384 or something. And then if you test this way, it might show 0.384 again. And that indicates that it's bad as well. And I'll show you what I mean on this other one that's good. So you got a short there, and you're shorted across the gate too. Now this one on the left is a good one, so this is what you should expect to see. If you tie onto the source pin with a positive lead, and test the drain, 0.382, and if you test over to the gate, you should have nothing. That's, that's still a good MOSFET. Now if you switch your lead around and put your negative lead on the source and then test to the drain, you should have nothing. And then over to the gate, you should have nothing again. This is a good MOSFET. So if you have your negative on the source, test the drain, you should get nothing negative on the source, test the gate, nothing. And again, just to show you again, the positive lead on the source, test the drain, that's good. And you should have nothing here. That's good. So I'll show this one more time here. The source on this one, test the drain, you got 0 0.003, 0 0.002, that's a direct short. Same thing here. Now if you're still got your MOSFETs hooked up to the circuit and you test, you will always find from the source to the gate, you'll see 0 0.003. If this is if it's hooked up to the circuit and you're testing. It will always show shorted here, and that's because the gate drive transformer is running from here to here, so it's automatically going to show a short. That's normal. And it would show that on both of them, but if you unhook it from the circuit, then it shouldn't read anything. But this one does. So that's, that's definitely shorted. It's definitely showing shorted there. And like I said, I always test them both ways. Test them from with the positive lead on the source to the drain. And like I said, if, let me show you over here. So if you got that point three eight three, like I said, I always switch them around and test because sometimes you could give a uh, uh, you can be fooled by that and think it's still good, but it may not be. So if you switch your leads around, and if it shows nothing there, if it doesn't read anything, then you're still good. But if it reads the same thing or a different number, then it, it's bad. And here's an example of what I mean by that. So this MOSFET, well, if you, you wasn't sure and you was testing it, test the drain you got. 
0.212. So, I mean, you might think, oh, this might still be good, but if you switch your leads around, see that? It shows the same thing both ways. That means it's bad for sure. Again, another simple test of a, a brand new one, and to show you what you should see. So from the source to the drain, 0.5, and to the gate, nothing. Now if you switch them around, source, drain, nothing, source to gate, nothing. This is a good MOSFET, it's brand new. And as far as the meter settings, you see we're on the diode test. And it also indicates in the corner here, I don't know if everybody's meter will, but this one does. Just a cheap meter. Works good though. You don't need a real fancy meter to test these. Just something to test the forward voltage, reverse voltage of them. And that's basically it. I called it a cheap meter, but this is a it's a Radio Shack meter. It's one of the last things that I actually got from Radio Shack before they closed down. But it's like a 60, 70 bucks or something. And honestly, it's been the best meter I've ever had.